Gateway yesterday, St. Louis. We saw a lot of stuff. We saw some speed, we saw some strategy, and we saw some luck. We saw Christopher Bell be the class of the field. Who says there's no such thing as momentum? Coming off of Charlotte, he rolls into St. Louis. Same speed, he's got it. He's running up front, he's leading laps, he's getting it done, but at the end of the race, he's nowhere to be seen. Mechanical issues. I'm blowing up, I'm blowing up, game over. That's why you have to watch a race to the very end. And this race is the perfect example. We take the Penske organization. They had the strategy. They put themselves in a position with Ryan Blaney, with Austin Sendrick, and with Joey Logano running in the top five and top 10 to take advantage and to win this race if anything happened. And it did happen. Remember, I just said, Christopher Bell had an issue. Comes down to the last lap of the race. 12 car, Ryan Blaney's leading. The announcers, everybody's already given it to him. It's his race. And what happens? Runs out of gas, runs out of gas. Now, if you want to see, go to Inside the Race and Larry Mack and Todd Gordon are going to break that down on how much fuel they got in the car and why he ran out of gas. But it doesn't make any difference. He runs out of gas and Austin Sendrick wins the race. We've seen this happen so many times. Got to put yourself in position. When that first car has an issue, you take advantage of it. It's a win. Nobody remembers who runs out of gas. Nobody remembers who runs second. They remember Austin Sendrick, race winner.